Hi guys, okay, so ngayon ang i-discuss naman natin is about um, free falling body. So this one is also under the rectilinear motion. So meaning to say, um, straight path pa rin yung sinusundan ng particle natin. So, and then this one is under the category naman na um, constant acceleration pa rin. So meaning to say, yung three formulas na ginamit natin last time is magagamit pa rin naman natin siya dito, no? So, let us just review yung three formula na yun. So, number one, yung final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus 80. Next is the displacement S is equal to the initial velocity times the time T plus 1 half 80 squared. And then, the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus 2AS. Okay, so wala naman tayong pinagkaiba dito guys sa uh, na-discuss natin last time, no? So ang special lang dito guys is that yung acceleration na gagamitin natin dito is actually yung acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so yun lang naman siya class. So ano ba yung acceleration due to gravity guys? So, diba yun yung ano? Yun yung denoted by G which is in SI units that is 9.81 meters per second squared and in english units this one is 32.2 feet per second squared okay so commonly nagtatanong yung mga sudyante no ano ba yung gagamitin na na numerical value nung nung acceleration due to gravity is it yung negative 9.81 since downward yung effect niya okay so um ganito ginagawa natin dito guys no so hindi siya always na negative 9.81 pag in input dun sa uh, three equations no, na gagamit ng acceleration. So, meron na tayo sinusunod dito guys na sign convention which is, I think, hindi ko naman siya na-elaborate last time. No? Sa, kasi diba yung last time, yung, yung, yung pinag-usapan natin is mainly horizontal yung motion. No? Y yung movement ng particle natin. No? Yung mga, ang examples doon, diba yung cars? So, horizontal yung motion. So, in this scenario kasi, yung acceleration nga is due to gravity. So, yung, yung motion ng particle natin dito is ano, upward motion. But still, straight, no? Pero upward nga lang. So, it can uh, move upward or it can move downward. So, kailan ginagamit na negative si acceleration or kailan siya ginagamit na as positive, no? So, baka sinakasanayan mo, puro negative 9.81 since yung effect nga niya is always pababa. So, hindi siya ganun, guys. Na meron tayong sign convention na ito, ito yung gagamitin natin mapa horizontal or mapa vertical. Okay, ito yung sign convention kasi sa pagkuha ng velocity, pagkuha ng displacement and at the same time acceleration, mahalaga yung yung sign no kung positive or negative kasi it indicates yung direction. No, kasi di ba sabi natin yung tatlo na yan, mga vector quantities yan. So meaning to say kailangan ma-define yung direction. So yung direction can be represented by yung sign no kung positive or negative. So Pag-usapan muna natin no, yung horizontal motion. So, ito naman is applicable pa, uh, mapa horizontal or vertical. Pero, pag-usapan na rin natin yung horizontal. Let's say, for example, ito yung particle. Okay? So, if the, far if the particle is um, initially moving to the right, so, ito yung initial movement niya. So, lagay natin initial motion. Okay? So, whatever is the direction ng initial motion, so, yun yung i-consider natin as positive sense. So, meaning to say, kung magsusukat tayo ng location niya, papuntang right, so, yun yung magiging positive. Okay? So, isabihin, kung nandito na yung particle, so, yung, yung displacement S niya, na measure mo, is a positive, ano, um, displacement S. No? Positive yung makukuha natin dito. And, halimbawa, after cer certain time t, umaatras kasi siya. So, let's say, for example, hindi dito na siya. Umatras siya. Napunta siya dito. So, kung i-measure natin from the initial position, papunta sa final position niya. So, this one, yung makukuha natin is negative s, no? So, ganun lang yan, guys, no? Whatever is the direction ng initial motion, so, yun yung consider natin as positive sense. So, the same way with the velocity, No? So if the move uh, if the particle is moving to the right so yung yung motion niya is to the right so therefore yung velocity na i-consider ko natin is a positive value ng velocity. So kapag ba umaatras na siya, ba hindi sa point na to, pag ganito na yung velocity niya. So yung ipapakita nating velocity must be negative no to indicate na yung direction ng motion niya or ng velocity niya at that point is against dun sa 
considered positive natin. Okay? So, mahalaga yan kasi nga, in-input natin yan dito, you know, kung positive ba siya or negative. At the same time, pag minakuha tayo negative, meaning to say, mag indicate ngayon ng ano, ng kung ano yung direction niya at that moment. Okay? So, that's why yung acceleration, meron tayong, di ba, accelerating saka decelerating. So, meaning to say, kapag accelerating, yung, yung, yung velocity is increasing, no? Because yung effect ng acceleration is what? Along dun sa motion. So, di, di ba ito yung accelerating? If the acceleration is uh, along dun sa direction niya. So, nag accelerate siya. So, that why, that's why ang nilalagay nating value nito sa equation is positive. So, the same way if the effect of the acceleration is, ano, uh, de decelerate niya yung, yung particle natin. So, meaning to say, yung ilalagay nating value niya must be negative. Okay? Gets ba yun, guys? So, kung gets mo na to, no sa horizontal motion, gets mo na rin yung, ano, yung sa vertical motion. So, same lang yun, guys, no? Kasi sa, Sa ano kasi, mm, sa vertical motion, no, yung particle kasi can be thrown upward. Pwede siyang ihagis pa taas or pwede namang siyang bibitawan lang, drop lang. So, therefore, yung motion niya is naturally downward. No? So, anyways, yung kukonsider nating positive is yung initial motion. So, if the particle is thrown upward, so, inahagis siyang pa ganyan. So, meaning to say, ito yung initial motion. Okay, so meaning to say, um, all measurement na pataas is considered to be positive. Okay, so ang tendency kasi kapag hinagis mo siyang pataas, no, lagi lang natin yung effect ng acceleration. Yung acceleration due to gravity kasi is always downward, no? So ito yung G na acceleration natin. So, lagi lang muna natin siya dyan. So meaning to say, Ang particle natin, no, kung hinagis siyang pataas, so pwede siyang umangat pa at certain point. Ayan, no? Aangat. And then, marireach niya lang yung maximum height niya. Pagating niya dyan, bababa na ulit siya. Okay? So, bababa na siya. Ayan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, halimbawa, kung i-measure natin itong, ano na to, itong position niya na to, no, yung, yung sinaid ko, So, kung i-measure natin yung, yung distance niya, okay, from the initial position, so ito. Okay, kunin natin itong displacement na yan. So, di ba ang nag measurement natin is pataas. So, therefore, ang makukuha nating S dyan is a positive S. But if we are referring dito sa baba, na ito, di ba, ito, sinashadean ko yung nasa baba. So, if you want to determine its position relative dun sa initial position niya, so, ang measurement is papaano, guys? Pag ganito, no? Pababa na. From the... Kasi ito laging datum natin, guys, eh. No? Yung initial position niya, yan laging datum natin. So, measured from the datum, pababa na yung S. So, that is against na dun sa, ano, dito sa positive sense natin. So, meaning to say, yung S measured natin dito must be negative. Okay? Now, pag usapan natin yung velocity. So, di ba, ito sa initial position niya, pataas pa yung velocity niya dyan. So, mean to say, yung velocity niya initially must be positive. But if you are referring, no, let's say for example, kahit dito, as you can see, yung velocity niya dyan is pababa na siya, di ba? So, mean to say, ang makuha natin dapat na velocity dyan must be negative. Okay, to indicate na siya is moving downward na, no, against na dun sa positive sense. And then, pag-usapan naman natin yung acceleration, yung acceleration niya, kahit saan naman dyan, No, mapa, ma, mapa dito, nung hinagi siya pataas, or mapa nandun na siya sa pababa, eto hindi naman nagbabago to, no Always downward yan. So, meaning to say, considering eto yung positive sense, so, anong lalagay natin na, ano, na acceleration? Eh, this equation, gagamitin natin siya as negative. Okay? So, nakuha ba yun, guys? Nakuha? So, kung nakuha na yun, so let us now apply those concepts sa ating sample problem. Okay, so situation 5. Um, okay, so a, stone's, a stone is thrown vertically upward and returns to earth in 12 seconds. So, calculate the initial velocity, determine the maximum height reached by the stone, and then at what time did it travel until it reaches the highest point? 
So, kung i-visualize natin yan, so, for example, ito yung initial position niya. So, ito yung stone natin. So, hinagis daw siyang pataas, no? So, yun yung initial motion niya. So, lagyan natin dito, no? That upward is considered to be positive. So, sabi nga natin, no? Uh, due to the effect of the um, acceleration due to gravity, which is always downward, so, ang tendency that yung, yung stone natin no, will reach lang certain point. No, hindi naman siya laging always upward. So, may marireach lang siya. Kasi, for example, ito certain point. So, hindi naman talaga siya magka-curve na ganyan. Pero, kailangan natin ipakita na nag-curve para klaro yung, yung figure. Pero, syempre, dapat ano lang yan. Straight lang yan. No? Pero, para sa visual ano, representation, kunwari gumanon. So, ayan. No, may may marireach lang siya certain point. No, highest point. And then, babalik na siya sa earth. So, ganyan. Okay. So, for example, yan. Okay. So, ano yung mga given, guys? So, ang given is at this point, no, which is i-highlight natin na lang siguro ng itong dilaw. Okay. So, at that point... Yung time is equal to 12 seconds na. No? Nung napunta siya sa position na yan, 12 seconds na yung lumipas. So, lagay natin itong initial position na to, Ito, yung time na ito is equal to 0 pa. Para lang clear. Tapos, ang tinatanong, calculate the initial velocity. So, as you can see, it is thrown vertically upward. So, yung initial velocity niyan is pataas. Okay? Ito yung V. Tawagin natin itong ano, um, point 0.1. Okay. Iyon yung mga mahalagang points that problem. So, tawagin natin to as point 2. Ito, tawagin natin to as point 3. Iyon yung mga mahalagang points, no? So, tawagin natin itong velocity 1 or yung velocity niya at initial position. So, tinatanong yan. Which is, wala tayong idea kung ano yan. Tama ba? So, and then, ano pa? So, tinatanong, um, determine the maximum height. So, meaning to say, lalagay lang tayo ng datum. Okay, so if the if this one is our datum, datum. So meaning to say, ano yung S1? Ano yung, ano, ano yung position niya at point 0.1? Edi, 0. Tama ba? 0. Okay, so next is, punta tayo dito sa maximum height reach. So angat ko lang siguro ng konti. Okay. So, pagdating dito, ano na yung time dito? Pangalan natin to guys, ha? Ito, tawag natin itong T3, ito, T1, ito, gawin natin itong T2. So, anong time na nung nandun na siya sa highest point? So, wala tayong idea. Okay? And then, ano yung velocity dito sa point na to, sa highest point, guys? Wala ba tayong idea? Or meron? Okay, so actually meron guys, no? Ito yung clue natin dito that at the highest point, yung velocity niya must be zero. Okay? So initially, may velocity siya dito, no? But due to the effect of the acceleration due to gravity, so pinapapa, pinapaliit niya ng pinapalit yon until uh, at some point, magsisiro siya. So that's why babalik na siyang pababa. No, wala na siyang natitirang ano, velocity na pataas pa. Kaya ang nangyari, ang motion niya, pababa na siya. Okay? So, yun yung alam natin at point 2. And then, alam ba natin yung S2? S2. So, wala tayong idea. So, which is, yun naman yung tinatanong na. So, let's say, for example, ito yung, ano niya, location niya at point 2. So, measured from the day to, okay, ito yan. Ito yung S2. Okay, which later on, ang aasahan nating value niyan must be positive. No, kasi that is, ano, uh, measured pataas pa from the datum, which is along doon sa positive sense na kinuha natin kanina. Okay, gets? So, lagi lang natin yung mga, ano, no. So, at this point, yung sa hinighlight natin, at point 3. So, alam natin, ang time dyan is 12 seconds. Ano pa? Alam ba natin yung velocity dyan, guys? Velocity 3. Alam natin. So, hindi. No? So, which is, pwede naman natin siya isolve kung tinatanong. Pero, I think, hindi naman siya tinatanong, guys. 
Pero wala tayo, wala tayong value. Pero we know na yung velocity niya diyan is pababa na siya. Okay, nakikita mo, pababa na siya. So meaning to say, ang asahan nating value pag nag-solve tayo nito is negative. Okay? How about yung S3, guys? S3. Ano na yung position niya? At point 3. So measured from the day to eh kapantay niya yan, guys, 'di ba? Pantay. Eh, meaning to say ang displacement niya at point 3 is 0. So yan na po yung mga given natin, no. Yan na yung mga given natin. So now I think we can now solve, no, etong initial velocity. So lagi lang natin yung acceleration natin, no. All throughout the motion, the acceleration is yun due to gravity which is downward. Okay, lagay natin 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? So, tinatanong is yung initial velocity. So, anong equation kaya? Okay, yung, yung, yung gumagamit ng initial velocity. So, all three equations, merong initial velocity. Okay, so sino kaya dyan guys yung magandang gamitin? Is it ito ba? Okay, ito, ito. Sino dyan, guys? So, bago ka pumili, pili ka muna ng point. No? Sino bang point yung i-analyze mo? Okay, so... Let's try to analyze. No, pick lang tayo kung point 2 or point 3. So, sino ba yung may given sa dalawa? Parehas, no? So, kung gagamitin mo yung point 2, pwede mong gamitin yung, yung velocity at 2 na equal to 0. So, we can do that. Okay lang ba yun, guys? So, I think, dito na muna tayo sa baba. Ayan na. Lagyan natin dito at point 2. The given is yung lumalabas parang yung final velocity at point 2 is equal to 0. So, given that hinahanap natin tong initial velocity V1, meron ba tayong time? Na, kasi kung ito, ah, hindi pala magagamit guys. No? Kasi, tingnan mo, check nyo guys. Kung gagamitin natin tong velocity 2 as our, our final velocity, so equations needs um, yung time t at that point, how much time na ba yung lumipas at that point, so wala tayong idea. Or kung gagamitin naman natin tong third equation, kailangan naman natin yung displacement um, s nya, which is wala pa tayo. So hindi pala siya useful, paano? So hindi natin pwedeng gamitin, so let us try now point 3. So, at point 3, ang meron tayong given is what? Yung time na 12 seconds. And then, yung displacement niya ay 0. Okay? So, if you will use this one as our initial and then this one as our final. So, what we can use is what? Pwede ba natin gamitin yung ano? Ito? Hindi. Kasi nga, wala tayong final velocity, di ba? As wala pa tayong um, initial velocity. So, hindi pwedeng gamitin. Eto, pwede ba to guys? Pwede, no? Anyways, eto ba pwede ba to? Wala tayong final, wala tayong initial. Eto lang meron. So, hindi rin to useful. So, use equation 2, guys. no Use equation 2. So, final square, ah, displacement S, so balik tayo doon, is equal to VOT plus 1 half AT squared. So, we are referring to position point 3. So, lalagay natin dito yung S3. Yung initial considered natin is yung nung hinagi siya, yung V1. And then yung time elapse yun, is yung T3. Then, plus 1 half. O, ano yung G na lalagay natin dito, guys? So, since the effect is downward, against the positive sense, so, lalagay natin negative G. Okay lang ba yun, guys? And then, T3 squared. Okay, so, direct sub, we know that the position niya is 0. So, ito, initial, time elapsed, 12 seconds. And then, lagay na natin dito, no, minus 1 half times 9.81, and then times 12 squared. 
So I think we can now solve for the initial velocity. Dun sa point 0.1. So how much that guy is. So we are expecting a positive value. No? Kasi yung, yung velocity niya dito is upward ba. So in expect natin positive. Okay, so how much that guy is. So that one is 58.86. So again natin, 58.86 meters per second. Okay, so let us check kung, kung tama tayo guys. So we are correct. Okay. So tama. So next, dito na tayo no. So determine the maximum height reached by the stone. So, ito yun, no, yung S2. How much daw itong S2? So, kung hinanap yung S2, meaning to say, we have to analyze yung point 0.2. Okay, so point 0.2 being our final point and then point 0.1 being our initial point. Okay, so sila yung pagpag-relate natin. So, lagay tayo dito. At point 0.2, so we have what? We have yung velocity at that point 0.0. So, lagyan na natin yung initial, yung B1. Nasolve na ito kanina, which is 58.86. And then, hinahanap natin itong S2. No, maximum height reach. So, what equation yung useful sa pagkuha ng S? So, pwedeng ito. But, we don't have yung time t pa. No? Hindi pa natin alam how much time yung nag-elapse para mapunta siya dito. So, we cannot use this one. So, we will just use itong third equation. Okay, relating the final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, and then in displacement S. Okay, so use natin yun guys. So, V squared equal to VO squared plus 2AS. So, yung final velocity na ina-analyze natin is yung velocity at point 2. Yung initial is yung sa point 1. And then, plus 2, yung acceleration... Um, downward yung effect so always negative for this problem no? kasi nga again siya dun sa positive sense na kinonsider natin so 2 negative g and then yung s na hinanap is yung s 2 ok so direct sub guys so we know yung velocity at that point is 0 initial is what 58.86 then minus na natin no? minus 2 times 9.81 and then times S2. So again, here we are expecting what? A positive value of S2. No? Kasi measured pa siya pataas from the datum. So how much is S2 guys? So ang limalabas, this one is 176.58. Okay, so, and then yung unit must be in meters. Okay, so S2 is 176.8. So, which is what? Nasa choices, no? letter D. Okay, so we are correct. Okay, and finally, at what time did it travel until it reaches the highest point? No, ito yung tinatanong, T2. Ano nang gusto mong gamitin, guys? So, you can now use this one, equation 2. Since we already have yung S... So, T na lang yung hinahanap dito. But, mas simple yata tignan ito guys. No? So, velocity, final velocity, so the initial plus AT. So, I think, utilize na lang natin tong equation 1. So, using equation 1, so, final equals initial plus AT. So, final is what? 0. Initial is nanggaling sa 58.86. And then... Minus 9.81. And then, yung time na hinahanap natin is yung sa point 2. No? Kasi lalagyan natin dito guys. Icing nga natin. Para clear lang. No? So, yung final na pinag-uusapan is yung sa point 2. Yung initial is yung sa point 1. Yung acceleration is yung negative g. And then, yung time t is yung sa point 2. Okay, so that's why ito yung naging equation natin. So now we can solve for time 2. How much is that, guys? 
So this one is 6 seconds. So as you can see, parang kinalahati lang natin, no? Itong 12 seconds. So kalahati nung oras, papataas siya. And then another half is pababa na siya. No? So 6 seconds. So which is what? Which is what? That is correct, no? Okay. So nuggets ba yung ginawa natin, guys? So, ano yung naging steps natin? No? First, identify yung mga points, no? important points, and then ilagay din yung mga given, and then yung unknown. And then, use na lang yung three equations no? for constant acceleration. So, wag lang magkakamali dito sa grav um, acceleration due to gravity. No? So, in this scenario, negative siya. Pero not always the case. So, depende dun sa assume positive sense. Okay, so I think para mas gets natin siya, proceed na tayo sa next problem natin. So, um, situation 6 tayo guys. Okay, so ayan. So, sabi naman dito, a stone is projected vertically upward from the top of a 120 meter high tower at a velocity of 36 meters per second. So, determine the maximum height attained by the stone measured from the ground. So, i-highlight ko na to guys. Baka magkamali tayo mamaya. So, ang measurement no, is from the ground. Hindi measured from its initial position. Okay. So, next is how long will it take the stone to reach the top? And then, how long will it take the stone to reach the ground? And then, what with what velocity will it hit the ground? So, as you can see, ang sabi dito, it is um, thrown vertically upward from the top of a tower 120 meters high. So, let us just draw a tower. Let's say, for example, ito na lang. Okay, kunwari, tower na yun, guys. Pwede na yan. So, andi dito siya, no? Ito yung initial position ng stone. So, it will reach certain point. Let's say, for example, ito. Maximum height niya. And then, babalik siya dito sa baba. Okay. So, let's say dito. Yan. So, sabi ang given is what? Lagyan natin yung datum, no? So, ito yung datum. So, ito. Papunta sa base ng tower. So, this one is what? This one is 120 meters. Okay, so as you can see, it is thrown upward. So, lagay na natin dito yung ano natin, positive sense natin. So, the positive sense is upward. Okay? So, lagay natin ano yung given pa. So, ang initial velocity dito, tatawagin natin yung mga points again. This one is point 0.1, ito point 0.2, ito point 0.3. So, at point 0.1, so, time is equal to 0. So, ang initial velocity is upward. So, tawagin natin V1. That is what? 36 meters per second. And then, yung S nyan, tawagin natin S1. So, nang galing siya sa datum. So, 0. Na, ang measurement natin is from the datum. Okay? So, now, punta tayo dito sa point 2. So, bilugan ko lang to siguro. Ayan. So, at point 2, lagay natin. Dito. So, ang time dito, unknown. Yung velocity dito is alam natin. So, this one is 0 at that point. And then, yung S dyan is S2 which is unknown. So, yung S2 is what? Now, from its position, that is measured from the datum. Ito yung S2. Okay? So, again, we are expecting a positive value of S2 later on sa equation natin. So, yun lang naman yun, guys. And then, sa point 3. So, check natin kung kita pa nga. So, angat ko lang siguro. Ayan. So, at point 3. So, kailangan lang natin i-define. So, T3. Meron ba tayo, guys? Wala, no? Tinatanong nga yata ito. And then, meron ba tayong velocity 3? Wala rin. Pero we are expecting a negative value since yung direction yun is downward na. 
no? And then, S3. Meron ba tayong S3, guys? So, S3 is what? So, from its position, measured from the datum, ito yung S3. Okay? So, which is what? Saan equal yung S3? Wala ba tayong value nyan? Wala. No, pero from the figure, this one is equal to 120 meters. Okay? But as you can see, this one is measured downward. So, therefore, ang, ang S na lalagay natin is negative 120. So, nasundan ba guys yung paggamit natin ng, 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 ano, ng sign kung positive or negative? And then, wag natin kakalimutan yung acceleration due to gravity. So, lagyan natin to as G. So, in this scenario, so, positive is yung pataas. So, therefore, gagamitin natin to sa equation as negative. Okay, so, pinakita ko ba yan dito? Ay, hindi na, no? Pero sa equation, pinakita ko na yan, no? Na, 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 negative siya. So, dito, ayan, negative value ng G yung gagamitin natin. So, let us start. Determine the maximum height reach. So, ito. S2. So, paano kaya natin makukuha yan, guys? So, ang nangyari dito, meron naman tayong initial, meron tayong final, kung i-analyze natin yung point. Unlike dito kasi, wala tayong initial kanina, di ba? So, that's why nagpunta muna tayo sa point 3. But in here, meron tayong initial nga, yung 1. So, yung, kung i-consider natin point yung final natin, meron tayong final velocity. So, we can solve yung T2. Or actually, we can solve directly nga yung ano etong S2. No? Anong equation yung gagamitin, guys? So, lagay natin dito. So, anal analyzing point 2. So, yung final velocity at point 2 is 0. Yung initial velocity is um, 36. And then, hinahanap natin yung S2. So, what we can use is what? Yung second equation, that S is equal to, or yung third equation rather, no, hindi natin gagamitin yung time t, which is what? Um, v squared is equal to VO squared plus 2AS. Okay? So, lagay natin dito 0 squared. Yung initial is yung 36 squared. And then, plus 2. Yung A is negative 9.81. And then, yung inahanap natin yung, yung S2. So, meaning to say, may makukuha tayong S2, guys. So, how much is that? So, that one is 66.055. Okay, so this one is in meters. So, as you can see, this S2 is nasa choices. So, kung nagmamadali ka at hindi mo binasa maigi, no, alam mo yung formula, pero hindi mo alam kung sino yung nire-represent niya. So, ang mangyayari, ito yung bibilugan mo. Okay? So, which is what? Mali yun, guys. Kasi yung S2 na nakuha natin is measured from its initial position. No? Ayun, no? Ayun nga yung height, no? From the figure. Pero ang tinatanong is what? Measured from the ground. So, measured from the ground, ano yung location nung, nung highest point? Eh, di that is S2 plus 120. Okay? So, yun yung tinatanong, guys, no? So, yung S2... Plus 120. So, equal sa anyan, guys. So, that is 186.055 meters. So, ito yung sagot. No? So, huwag mo madali. Ito dapat yung sagot natin, guys. So, lipat natin yung dito. So, that one is the correct answer. Okay? So, next, how long will it take the stone to reach the top? So, tinatanong na yung T2. So, paano natin kukunin yung T2? So, pwede mo gamitin yung second equation kasi may S ka na, di ba? Gamitin mo yung S equal to VOT plus 1 of 80 squared. Pero ayoko na yun, guys. Doon na lang ako sa simple. Final is equal to the initial plus 80. Okay, so final being 0. Initial being 36. So, mahalaga yung sign. So, positive siya dito, ha? And then, plus yung negative 9.81. And then yung T2. So, ayan. Ilan yung tito, guys?
So that one is 3.6697 or 3.670 seconds. Okay? So which is what? Nasa choices. Okay? Easy lang, no? Basta na-identify natin correctly yung mga um, parameters dun sa mga important points na kinuha natin. So next, how long will it take the stone to reach the ground? So ito yung tinatanong T3. Okay? So meaning to say yung analysis na natin is magbabago na. Doon na tayo sa at 0.3. So we have what? Final. Meron ba? Wala, no? Ano pa ba yung given? T3. Wala rin. We have yung S3. Yung negative 120. And then, lalagay lang natin dito yung initial. No? 36. Kasi laging ginagamit yung initial, di ba? Yung VO. So, yan. So, how do we solve yung time? E di gamitin natin yung same approach na ginawa natin dun sa ano, point 2. So, that is what? Final is equal to initial plus 80. Okay? Ay, pwede ba to guys? Wala pa pala tayong final, no? So, hindi natin ito magagamit, guys. No? Wala pa kasi tayong final velocity, V3. So, what we can use is yung, yung equation na may S. Okay. So, let's try. Yun na lang muna gamitin natin. Burayin ko muna ito, guys. So, that is what. Yung S is equal to VOT and plus 1 half 80 squared. Okay. So, lalagay natin dito yung negative 120 is equal to initial 36 and then yung time is yung T3. And then plus 1 half, negative 9.81 and then T3 squared. So, as you can see, quadratic equation. So, meaning to say we can solve two possible um, values of T3. So, ano-ano yan guys? So, kaya nyo na yan guys. Pakisolve. Ano yung T3? Okay, so yung two possible values ay 9.828 or 9.829 and then the other one is negative 2.489. So of course, this one is impossible. No? So we need to say our answer is this one, no? 9.829. Okay, so which is what? Nasa choices, no? That is letter B. So we are correct. So meaning to say that is 9.829 seconds from the initial point. No, bago siya mapunta dito sa point 3. And then lastly, ang tinatanong, with what velocity will it hit the ground? So... We can use yung, yung, yung mabilis lang, no? Itong final is equal to VO plus 80. Pwedeng yan. Mabilis lang yan, guys. Pero, I think, nag-round up kasi tayo dito. Try nga natin. So, this one is positive 36 plus yung negative 9.81. And then, times 9.829. So, pag nag-round off, ano yung value ng final velocity niya? Which is what? Yan yung velocity niya at point 0.3. Okay, so ilan yan guys? So that one is negative 60.42 meters per second. So negative only indicates that yung velocity ng particle natin at that point is downward. Okay? So check na natin kung nasa choices. So yan, no? letter A. So, hindi na pinakita kung positive or negative. Pero numerical value niyan, yun yun. Okay? So, pwede yan. Pero I think, ano pa ba? Pwede ba natin gamitin yung isa pang equation? Kasi nag-round up tayo. So, what if we want to use this one? No? Final squared is equal to the initial squared. And then, plus 2AS. Pwede ba yan? Na para walang rounding off. So, hinahanap yung final, yung V3. So, we have yung initial, 36 squared plus 2. A is negative 9.81. And then, yung S is what? So, 0.3 tayo tumitingin. So, S is negative 120. 
So, ito yung exact, no? Kung gusto mo lang ma-practice na exact, guys. Pero pwede na to. Malapit naman na sa choices. So, ilan tong V3 dito, guys? Okay, so ito, 60.4185. So ito yung exact no, na lumabas dun sa ano. 60.419 meters per second. So as you can see, ang problema lang dito sa paggamit ng third equation natin is that naka-squared kasi yung velocity, di ba? So anong ginawa mo? Di ba yung square root mo to? Yung square root mo. Ayan. So ngayon, hindi mo ma-identify ngayon kung yung positive value ba nung velocity or yung negative yung gagamitin mo. So, titignan mo na lang sa figure. No? Dahil pababa siya. So, doon mo na lang lalagay na negative siya. So, yun lang yung downside na ito, no? Na hindi natin nakuha yung, yung ano, um, from the equation itself, no, yung, yung correct sign niya. Pero, we know that that one must be negative, no? To indicate that the particle is moving downward at that position, 0.3. Okay? So... Next problem tayo guys, I think. So, I think this one must be the last problem natin, no? For this topic, no? So, kunin ko lang guys. So, hopefully na nasusundan nyo yung discussion natin. Okay. Okay. So, last situation tayo. So, situation 7. So, sabi dito, a ball is dropped from the top of a tower 80 feet high at the same instant that a second ball is thrown upward from the ground with an initial velocity of 40 feet per second. So, determine the time elapsed when the two ball um, pass each other. And then, how high are the two balls from the ground Okay, when they pass each other. Okay, so this one is um may relationship na siya ng dalawang bola, no? Na isa hinagis or dinrap from the top of a tower and then the one is being thrown upward from the ground. So ang tinatanong at what time will they meet and then at what height, no, na magmi-meet sila. So let's just draw that one. So let's say for example, ito yung ating tower. So, pwede na siguro yan, guys. So, ito muna yung isa. So, andi dito yung position niya. Okay. And then, it is drop. So, ang given is that this height. Okay. Must be 80 feet. So, ito yung dinrap. Lagyan natin direction. Okay? So, tawagin natin itong ball number 1. Pwede na siguro yan, guys. And then, the other one, nandi dito sa baba, from the ground. So, it is thrown vertically upward. So, ito yung direction. Tawagin natin itong point 2. So, as you can see, we, we have two um, particles na no, or bodies na ina-analyze. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, um, bibigyan lang natin ng sign convention, no? Yung 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 each particle, no? Kanya-kanya silang sign convention. So since magkaiba kasi sila ng motion, ng no? initial motion, the one being drop, no? Or pababa yung initial motion niya and then yung isa upward. So magkakaroon ng ano, um, pagkakaiba doon sa sign convention. Okay? So analyze muna natin yung ano, ball 1 para hindi tayo malito. So Ito yung datum niya for ball 1. Okay? Ayan yung datum. So, ang sign convention natin dito is what? Downward yung magiging positive. Kasi yun yung initial motion niya. So, let us now identify mga given. So, of course, um, yung velocity initial niya is 0. Kasi drop lang, di ba? Nilaglag lang. So, 
Yan na yan. Pwede na siguro yan, guys. No? Um, sige, yan lang muna, guys. No? Yan lang muna. And then, malalaglag kasi yung, yung ball 1. No? Let's say, for example, at certain point, um, dito siya mapupunta. Okay? So, lagyan na nga natin yun, guys. So, let's say, for example, dito siya mapupunta. Kasi, ang, ang tinatanong dito, ang goal natin, malaman kung at what time sila magmi-meet na no, magpapantay. Let's say, for example, i-drawing ko na rin tong ball 2. So, yung ball 2 kasi, eto siya. Eto yung datum naman ni ball 2. Okay? Which is thrown vertically upward. So, in this case, ang consideration para sa kanya is upward positive. Okay? So, dito, downward yung positive for ball 1. For ball 2, upward yung positive. Okay? So, pag hinagis mo siya, um, there will be some time na mapupunta siya dito. Magpapantay sila. So, yun yung tinatanong, no? At what time yun? Kasi sabay naman nang nangyari, di ba? Sabay naman nangyari. Nung nilaglag, biglang hinagis. So, same time. So, meaning to say, pag, pagpunta dito, ito lang i-analyze natin. No, yung time na red ay the same dito sa ano. Time nung, nung ball 2, na itong blue. No? Yung time na napunta siya dyan is the same time na napunta dito yung ball 2. Kasi sabay naman nangyari. Nung nilaglag, hinagis. Okay? So, same thing na lang lagi natin no? para hindi masyadong maraming ano, subscript. So, ang problema is kailangan nating identify yung, yung, yung S. No? So, for... Ball 1, yung S nya is eto, measured from the datum pababa. Eto yung S1. Tama ba? Tawagin na lang natin S1, no? Um, representing yung position ng ball 1 after time t. So ngayon, anong S1 yung gagamitin natin dito, guys? Is it positive or negative? Since we measure it pababa pa, no? Pababa yung measurement natin from the datum. Positive or negative? Positive, no? Positive yun, guys. Kasi nga, ito nga yung consideration natin para sa kanya, di ba? All downward measurement is considered to be positive. So, this one, positive yan. Okay? While for ball 2, so, ito kasi yun, from the datum, papunta dito, ito yung S2. No? Position ng ball 2 after time T. O, ano yung S2? Positive or negative? Positive, no? Kasi nga, for ball 2, ito yung sign convention natin. Upward is positive. So, ito, positive yan. Okay? So, dito lang magkakaroon ng pagkakaiba yan sa consideration ng acceleration due to gravity. Since the acceleration due to gravity is always downward, so, magkaiba yan, no? Para dito, yung acceleration sa, sa ball 1, since along siya dun sa considered positive sense, ayan. So, pag ginamit siya sa equation, positive g. Okay? But for ball 2, pag, pag ina-analyze natin yung ball 2, okay? So, meaning to say, upward kasi dito yung positive. So, again, siya dun sa... Positive sense. So, ang gagamitin natin ditong um, acceleration is what? Negative G. No? Again, siya dun sa positive sense. So, may binigay pala dito, no? Hindi ko nasulat. That yung velocity initial na ito, tawagin natin velocity initial ng ball 2, ayan, V2 na lang, sinabi dyan that is 40 feet per second. So, lalagay ko positive ba? 40 feet per second. Positive kasi, yung initial motion naman niya is upward. Eh, hinagis nga siya. So, that is along dun sa positive sense. So, sana hindi kayo nalilito dun sa sinasabi ko, guys, no? Okay. So, ito yung sa ball 1. Ito yung sa ball 2. Okay? So, now, what is the relationship, guys? No? Paano natin masasolve? Yung time, saka yung location. 
So, hinahanap is yung time t. Lagay natin dito. Yung tinatanong is yung time t. And, di ba how high are the balls from the ground? So, meaning to say, ito yung tinatanong yung S2. No, kasi measure, me measured from the ground eh. So, that is referring to S2. So, how much daw yung t and then how much itong S2. Okay? So, kapag we are dealing with um, two particles, so we must um, provide no, yung relationship between dun sa mga distances nila. So, as you can see, ito yung S1, ito yung S2. So, pwede ba natin sabihin guys that S1 plus S2 ay equal sa 80 feet? Yes, pwede. No? So, yun yung magiging first relationship natin. S1 plus S2 is equal to 80 feet. So, now we just have to provide no, yung, yung um, equation for S1 in terms of time t. So, that is, lagi natin dito, no? For ball 1, so we use what? Ay, ball ba yan? O, pares naman ball. So, we use what? Yung S is equal to VOT plus 1 half 80 squared. So, ito yung gagamitin natin kasi nga gusto natin i-represent yung S in terms of time t. Okay? So, yung S1, lagyan natin is equal to Initial niya is what? Diba? Dinrap lang siya. So, 0. Yung time niya is what? T na lang. No? 0 T. And then, plus 1 half. Ano yung A na lalagay natin, guys? Is it negative 32.2? Take note, English tayo, guys, ha? Feet per second. So, negative 32.2 ba, guys? Hindi, diba? Sabi nga natin, considering yung ball 1, ang effect ng acceleration due to gravity is positive. Okay? Kasi alang siya dun sa positive sense. So, sana nakukuha natin, guys. So, lalagyan natin dito, positive 32.2 and then T squared. So, yan na. Pwede natin ipalit yan later on for S1. And then next is considering yung ball 2. So, for ball 2, so, same, S is equal to VOT plus 1 half AT squared. So, yung S natin dito is yung S2. So, is equal to the initial 40. Yung time natin is yung same time T nga lang no, for ball 1. And then, plus 1 half, anong acceleration ang gagamitin? Positive or negative? Since always downward. And then, for ball 2, ang consideration natin ng positive is yung upward. So, negative siya. Ay, ano yan? So, ayan, negative siya for ball 2. Okay? So, this one is negative 32.2 and then times t squared. Nakuha ba yan, guys? So, using this relationship, which is, ikakapi ko na lang. So, using this one, we can now replace, um, replace S1 and S2 no, in terms of time t. So, this one is yung S1. Okay. Lagyan natin na ito. And then, plus S2. Okay. So, equal daw ito sa 80. So, with that, no? Ang only unknown na lang dyan is yung T na uh, time t. So, as you can see, I think pwede natin itong i-cancel out. Tama ba? This one is positive. This one is negative. So, lumalabas, that is what? 40 t is equal to 80. So, therefore, t now is equal to 2 seconds. So, you mean to say after 2 seconds, so, same level na sila. Napantay na sila. So, that is what? Correct, no? Letter C check. And then finally, how high are the two balls um, from the ground? Yung tinatanong nga dyan, itong S2. Kasi measured from the ground. So, I think pwede na lang natin dito palit yung ano. Para mabilis lang. Palitan mo ito ng 2 guys. O, 2. This one is 2. O, ilan yung S2? Okay, so that is what? 
15.6 feet na measured from the ground. So, positive yan kasi nga. Paut, ulit yan, no? Positive yan kasi nga ang measurement natin pataas na 4 ball 2. So, inuulit ulit ko para gets me yung, yung sign. So, which is what? We are correct. Letter C. Okay. So, yun guys. No, yun lang naman yun. No, for free falling body. So, sana na gets ninyo. So, madali lang yan. Same lang yan ng, ng ano, horizontal motion. Critical lang yung consideration ng sign. So, yun lang guys. I think let us just continue our discussion um, on, uh, on the next topic. No? So, ating next video presentation. So, thank you guys for watching and then see you next time and God bless guys.